forget everything that you have learned about Vim until now. Because after to watch this video, you are going to use Vim like never before. First of all, I recommend to download the wallpaper for Vim, which can be extremely useful, like this one. The first important thing to know is how to move around Vim, so let's start by the basics. Don't use up and down and left and right, just use these ones and these ones. In the same way you can use 5 right, 5 left, 2 up, 3 down and so on. Next, let's move between words, so we can press WB for word or WB shifted for real words. In the same way, backwards and shifted backwards. There is also different modes in Vim, which we can see here. For example, in normal mode, you can use these commands to move, but in insert mode, you are just writing them. There is also the visual, on which you can select things for two things like delete or copy. So you can paste it later. We can go between paragraphs using this one, as we can see here. Or to the end of the word. And, and, and. And this is important because, for example, we can want to select word. That's good, but we are in the parentheses and we don't want that because if we delete it, we delete everything. So let's try it in. Visual and and we did it. Perfect. We can go up and down, up and down, or we can scroll. We can also go backwards one page or half page. But the best way to use Vim is like speaking to your editor. For example, we want to go to this line, which is 17. We press 17 down. We want to go here, 10, 10 down. If we want to, want to change, for example, this word, we press change word and we type. Or for example, we want to change these three words, change three words and we type. Speaking to your editor is very powerful because for example we want to delete from here to the S shifted. Delete to S and we can insert new text here. Or for example delete to choose these two dots and so on. Or for example we are here and we want to change everything inside the parentheses. Change inside parentheses. And we can type. Or just delete. Delete inside parentheses. To search something, you can just press this key and win. And then pressing N, we go to the next matches. Or shifted N backwards. But another easy way is to just press asterisk in the word that you want to search. For example, this one. Pressing caret goes to the first word of the line and dollar to the end of the line. If you press percent key, it goes to the matching brackets. With the Y key, we can copy. For example, we select this line and we copy. So we can paste with the P. We can also copy two lines down, so it will have copied all these three ones. We can verify it by pasting it. Or for example, we can want to paste three times. With the quote character, we can access to the registers. For example, we want to copy this line in the register A, so we do copy line and then this one in the register B. 
Now we can paste these different lines anywhere, for example, register B paste or register A paste. It is very important to speak to your editor, not only because it's much more efficient, but also because you can do much more powerful and complex actions. For example, let's try a recording. Record in the record A. Let's say that we want to keep only the first argument in all our functions. Then we can start. We go to the first column, then we search the comma, and then we delete two parentheses and we stop recording. Now we can go to the line on which we want to reproduce it with at and the name of the record. As we can see, it changed the line the same way. We can do it multiple times, for example, to these four lines, we can press for at a. Perfect. You can also put marks in your files, for example, we go here and we want to mark this line, so M A and we can see that we have the mark put here or M B and we have another here. So with this key we can jump between them, for example, you can also split the windows with this and with this. You can make them bigger or jump between them. When you are editing your file, sometimes you want to undo your changes. Press U and Ctrl R to redo. This has been a very small introduction about how to use Vim efficiently. But with the Elevim framework you can use Vim much better. So check the next video. Thank you.